Today is a good day for all of us because in this video I have something to share with you which is a VPN application source code. This is a SOX HTTP base with tunnel types HTTP, SSL, Direct, SSL plus Payload plus Proxy, Slow DNS and UDP tunnel. Make sure you watch this video until the end to learn how to compile and use it. Especially for those who are new to VPN modification. And before everything, if you are just a beginner and haven't subscribed to my little channel, press the subscribe button below so that you will be updated on my future videos. Thank you very much. You can build this source code using the Android IDE tool if the device you are using is an Android phone, but if you are using a PC, use Android Studio. I'll just build it first so that you can see the interface of this VPN. This layout is the current trend so you can change its layout depending on whatever you want and depending on what you can do. So now we are here, the first thing we have to do is to change the name of the app. Just open the strings.xml file and copy the name and search then replace everything in the result. Also open skprotect.java and change the name in lowercase. After that, you can now build and install the app. Don't be surprised guys if it wasn't changed here. Just open the activity main drawer.xml and change the name. And now we will change the package name, it's still the same, copy it, and search then change everything in the result. build failed will appear there because there is still an error or something missing that we should change. This is the one in Google services.json. This is the Firebase notification. I will teach you about this in the next video. Now the build is successful so we can install the APK. If you want to change the theme color, just open the colors.xml in the main, res, values folder. And when changing icons or logos, it's only here in the drawable folder. And now we will change our default config inside. 
use the config generator to create a JSON file, and just copy and replace inside SRC. Now that we have changed to default config inside, now we will change the raw link for online config updater. Now I'm going to use my own panel that people who have nothing else to do but ruin lives. Calling and mentioning you, Stronghold VPN, I hope you will change your life. Do not destroy other people. Just encrypt the API of your config updater using mdevs tool, then just replace it with bagel.java. That's all guys in this video, I hope it helps you. I will make a part 2 of this source code and I will teach you how we can place the ads units correctly and how we can use its firebase notification. And if you like this video, maybe you can like, comment and share this video so we can share more source codes.